Welcome back to another episode of Alechna with me, T-Man. And, uh, today I, I uh, um, uh, uh, you know what? I don't actually have anything planned for today. I've, I've built stuff and I've been managing affairs over at OSHA and Town Hall and I think things have kind of settled down a bit recently, so I'm thinking, why don't I just take a, a short trip out of town? And, uh, well, I was thinking, there's a lot of places that I could stop by, not necessarily anyone's bases, but I think the Kingdom of Giboria is a pretty interesting vacation spot. Well, it's not a vacation, it's it's more like a day trip, but I've, I've heard nice things about the place, and I think I should just stop by and uh, smell the roses and stay for the chocolates or enjoy the views, yes. Yes, I, I think I'll head over there right now. Would you look at that? There's a safe house, and I think there's like a tiny... Yes, it, it appears there's a village here. That's pretty neat. It's pretty natural for a highway to have towns or villages, you know, placed next to it. Because that's, that's how civilizations work. You got roads, you got people building next to roads. Looks like this village has been taken care of pretty well. It's got a good variety of agriculture and well, I don't see any people, but I'm I'm sure I'm sure it, it <laughs> maybe they're just all gone. Yeah. And we're just a bit of ways away from the initial village and now it appears there's a uh, it's a hotel. It's an inn. Huh. Well, how convenient. Leave it to the Jiborian Empire to make sure places have uh, the appropriate facilities. Hello. Oh, you sell food. I didn't bring my wallet. A nice spacious room. But I don't think I have to stay here. The sun's still up and I can totally make it to the kingdom. Not sure what's going on here, but it looks like it's under construction. Very, very interesting. Oh, on the other side here, you have oh, you have beehives and oh my, oh my, that's a big old build. Is it like a like a church? Well, it's not complete, and I don't want to spoil too much, so we'll continue along the road here. Oh, so this is the residential district of New Jeebs Town. There are a lot of houses here. Not a lot of people. Is everybody at, like, the, the, the Jiborian capital today or something? Is it like a, like a national holiday? I don't, I don't know what's up here. I am now leaving Jeebs Town. Continuing on to Jiboria. I think we're almost there, but would you look at the size of this bridge? The sun is setting, and I'm coming across the water, and I'm, I'm getting like some Asgard vibes here, because, you know, big, big bridge before the kingdom. Yeah, it's all very fancy. You could, you could move a whole army across this bridge, wow. I think I have made it to the kingdom of Jiboria. Wow. They got some big old buildings here. It's a lot more packed here than Spawn Town. And there's a lot going on here. And so from the entrance, I pass through what appears to be the residential area. I don't see anyone out here. I guess, you know, the moon's out and um, everybody's sleeping. Yeah, see, look, that guy's sleeping. 
Yes, I guess maybe the entire population of the kingdom is just here for the day or something. Probably bustling with life at earlier hours. And would you take a look at the map here? Wow. Oh, uh, King Jeebs sure has a lot going on here. So that's the bridge that I came in on, and then we pass through this village, and it looks like we are about to reach some sort of port, and then the main castle. Hey, while I'm here, you should totally consider checking out Jeebs' content. He doesn't do time lapses or nothing, but he sure shows off the progress that he does, and he does a lot of building when he has the time to build. So yeah, go go give his, his channel a looksy looks. And I'm now approaching the entrance to the castle. Going up the stairs here. The main foyer is open. And I'm greeted by quite a few armor stands. This is the inner courtyard that I saw on the map, and it is quite spacious and large. I gotta say, you can take a lot of notes here regarding infrastructure, and I sure want to integrate at least some parts of, you know, all these multi-level, multi-layered items that he has going on here. Excuse me, sir, is the king in the castle right now? Her. Her. Alright, thank you for your help. Well, would you look at that? It appears that the throne room is guarded by guards using armor stands, very similar to the T-Corp technology that we have with the stand manipulation. But it appears the king is not on his throne right now. Hmm. Hello, are you capable of getting me in touch with the king? It appears the armor stands are not actually capable of communication, so that's alright. I guess I'll just find the king myself, wherever the king may be. Perhaps he's at a higher level right now. Oh my, well, this is some peculiar looking BDSM chamber here. Oh my, oh my. From this side of the castle, you got a big old view of the wide open ocean as this castle just stands over the shoreline. Hello, Mr. Sheep, were you some sort of royal sheep? Hello, could you guide me to the king, please? I'm not sure if this will get me to where I need to be. Maybe the king's not even in the castle right now. The fact that Jeebs even comes to spawn at all kind of suggests he's not here all the time. Oh, it appears that there's a... That's an aquarium. 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 He has a lot of banners, wow. Nice little living space. And what you look at that? Jeeves is collecting tea merch. Oh wow, he has enough spaces to collect everything. It's really nice to know that someone is investing into Tea Corp's tea merch products. Filling out his T Man decks as he goes along. That's great. And I think it would please Jeebs to know that I've actually restocked the machines with a higher chance of getting uh, the latter half of uh, the T Merch products. A few of which have never been in circulation before. So, yeah. Hey, if, if Jeebs ever watches this, I guess he'll know he can complete his collection. Like, he can actually complete his collection, give or take three items. And then I, I guess this is his team index, so... Invade Spawn. More settlements. You know, I'm beginning to think I should not have read that book. You know, I'm sure he's not going to act on that, and I see the Giborian Kingdom is very much capable of constructing all of this. They could easily convert all of their manpower into military might if they just give every construction worker a gun or something. But I have good faith that uh, Jeeves is clearly a fan of my work, 
And if I represent Spawn, there will be no sort of hostile takeovers. I'm beginning to think maybe I shouldn't be in this castle, so I am going to head out. And now I'm doing a flyby, and would you look at that. The beauty of this construction, it's incredibly powerful and really conveys a uh, sort of European-esque uh, medieval dominance over the land. And he still has a lot of greenery here too. I'd say you can't help but admire the way that he's sculpted this build in the Giborian image. But hey, that does it for me today. Thank you for uh, watching my little trip to Giboria. And hopefully nothing bad happens between Spawn, Town, and Giboria, and that I may live uh, relatively peacefully. So, uh, yeah. Uh, g g goodbye. G goodbye.